<laughs> All right. So there's a lot going on there. <laughs> there's a lot going on there. Yeah. So, so let's talk a little bit about some of that. Give us a little overview of some of that stuff happening and then we'll do any questions we might come up with. So, so that's a real mix of everything we've been talking about. That was chromaticism. That was being comfortable in all the chord shapes and boxes up and down the entire neck and never feeling like I need to get back to my safe space. Um, and then that was using diminished chords and two five ones to make these connections happen. So let's talk about the two five one first. Now the two five one purely exists to create a, a movement, a resolution basically. So when we're in A flat, if we play B flat minor and then E flat seven, or some form of that chord to lead us back to A flat. That's a two five one. But what happens if we want to use a two five one to get to another chord in the song? You can do this, and it's like a preemptive key change, basically. So when I'm going from A flat to D flat, I can play E flat minor, A flat seven, to lead me to D flat. And that's me playing a two five one of the chord that's happening next in the song. Now this doesn't just work in blues, this works verbatim across all music. You can take this, now you have to be cognizant of the key of the song you're in and what the accidentals are, and by that I mean the sharps and the flats in that key. But this is a verbatim tool that, that works, blanket, across music. So I can take that same idea and you'll hear, it's creating a resolution. If I play it just in chords, which is the way I learned it from Freddie Green, and played... Right? I played E flat minor, A flat seven to lead me to D flat seven. That's the two of the D flat, the five of D flat, and then making D flat the new one, basically. So even technically, this is really a minor five and the one, we're thinking of it as the two and the five of the next chord. So it's like you're changing, like you're modulating, but you're not. You're just making a resolution happen. So you can do it immediately going back. So let's say going back from here to the one, I can play that B flat minor, E, uh, e flat major to lead me to that A7. So here's what it sounds like in chords. And this is how I learned it, was by listening to Freddie Green go. Things like that. And when I heard that, I thought, why can't I do that in my solo? So I started to try to make those things happen. So I went. That was the same thing. I played. And then I played. Basically, I spelled out those two fives. You can do this everywhere in music. It's an incredibly useful tool. And it's just one of the things that I do to make stuff happen. And the first time I heard somebody play it as a lick was Charlie Parker in Bloom Dito. And it was, I'd heard the 251 as a replacement for the turnaround in the blues. And we've all heard this sound, right? Well, that's a 251 in place of the five to four motion in a blues. We've all heard that. But what we're talking about is using this to build a bridge between chords. So I heard Charlie Parker take this song in B flat, Bloom Dito, and he went. And then here's about to be the four, right? He goes. And I was blown away when I heard that. What I realized he was doing was spelling out an F minor and a B flat to lead him to that E flat. And I was like, wait a minute, that's the same thing I just learned from Freddie Green and rhythm guitar. And it opened my mind to, wow, I can do this anywhere. And it just knocked down a lot of doors. And that head. If you want to learn a head that will teach you a million little connections within a blues, learn Charlie Parker's Bloom Dito. This is what he plays. So there's that 2-5, and then here on the 4 he goes. That's 4 to 4 minor, which is another useful tool. It's like going. Right, and then he plays a 2 5 one. This, this head changed my life, learning that head. Um, so yeah, two five ones, and that's without any diminished chords, which is the next thing. But I'll take a breath in case anybody wants to jump in there. <laughs> 